Hello everyone, in this video, we'll talk about simplifying expressions wherein two or more operations are involved in one item. As you can see in this one, we have more than two operations. Multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. So we should not follow the operations from left to right, but instead we have to use order of operation, and that is GEMDAS. GEMDAS stands for group. Okay, those are numbers enclosed by bracket, parentheses, or braces. E stands for exponent. Okay, let's say 2 squared. Okay? So, ang next kay group is exponent. So, you have to solve that expression second to a number enclosed by parentheses, bracket, or braces. And then, next one is m. After you simplify an expression enclosed by parentheses and simplify a number with exponent, next is m. And that is multiplication. So, this one is multiplication. Or multiply. Okay? So, we multiply. That is the next operation after the exponent and group. And the next, of course, is D. D stands for division or divide. And then, what is A? After you divide the expression, once meron dung division, ang kasunod na operation na kung meron lamang dun sa ating item ay yung addition and Subtraction. So, A stands for addition or add. And then, S stands for subtract or subtraction. So, again, to simplify the expression, you need to follow the order of operation. So, we have to simplify the expression inside the bracket, braces, and parentheses. And the next, once there is a number with exponent, so we need to simplify second to the group ay yung exponent. So once na simplify na natin yung a number with exponent, the next is to multiply if my multiplication dun sa expression. And the next is division once meron dung division. Okay, now, in order of operation, multiplication and division, pwede yung magkapalit depende sa pagkakasunod. Once na multiplication ang nauna instead of division, of course, from left to right tayo. If division ang nauna instead of multiplication, from left to right pa rin. Same with addition and subtraction. Now, let us simplify the given expression in item number 1 and item number 2. So, item number 1, we have quantity 5 times 54 divided by 6 minus 3 plus 6 times 2. So as you can see, we have group enclosed by bracket. So according to ating order of operation, group must simplify first. So ang unahin natin isimplify dyan ay yung nasa loob ng bracket symbol. Okay, sa loob ng bracket symbol, we have parentheses. So, group pa rin. So, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? And sa loob ng parenthesis, meron tayong operation. That is division and subtraction. Of course, according to our order of operation, division must come first before subtraction. That's why we have to divide 54 and 6. So, what is 54 divided by 6? 
that is equal to 9. And then, subtract 3. And then, rewrite natin lahat ng hindi nagamit. Okay? So, bracket. Nasa loob pa rin. And then, times 5 plus 6 times 2. And then, next, of course, sa loob pa rin ng parenthesis, what is 9 minus 3? That is equal to 6. So, ito yung kasunod. Grouping pa rin tayo. Nasa loob pa rin ng parenthesis. Pero, nasa loob pa rin siya ng bracket. Okay, next, that is 6. And then, rewrite yung mga hindi mo inoperate. That is times 5 plus 6 times 2. Okay, now, so wala na tayong parenthesis. Na-eliminate na natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. And the next one is inside the bracket. So, natira na yung bracket. As, uh, as we all know, bracket is also a group. Okay? So, we have to simplify 5 times 6. So, what is 5 times 6? That is equivalent to 30. And then, rewrite plus 6 times 2. Now, in this expression, 30 plus 6 times 2. So, ang ating operation dito ay hindi from left to right, kundi sundin pa rin yung order of operation. Ano ang mauna? Multiplication or addition? So, of course, we have to multiply first before we add. So, 6 times 2 that is equal to 12. Then, plus 30. Of course, that is equal to 42. Okay? So, the answer in this expression is equal to 42. Now, let us have item number. So, simplify the expression inside the group or the, par the parentheses, the braces, and the bracket. So, we have braces. Inside the braces, we have bracket. And inside the bracket, we have parentheses. So, ang pinakaunang gagawin mo dyan is to simplify the number inside the parentheses. So, 16 times 4. This is equal to 64. And then, write divided by 8. inside the bracket and then times 2 rewrite mo lang yung lahat ng hindi mo nagamit para hindi ka malito okay and that is inside the braces times 3 ayan okay now inside the braces we also have bracket so simplify natin ang 64 divided by 8 and that is and then, remove na natin yung bracket. Matitira na lang si times 2. So, ang natira na dyan ay braces na lang. Okay? And then, rewrite natin yung 9 divide 3. Times. And then, of course, simplify natin also yung nasa loob ng braces kasi group pa din yan. 2 times 8, that is equal to 16. Okay? And then, rewrite natin yung mga hindi nagamit. Times, nasa 3. Tapos yung, yung 9 divide. Okay, now. In this case, 9 divide 3 times 16, alin ang uunahin natin? So, sa multiplication division, whichever comes first, yun ang uunahin natin from left to right. Since division ang nauna, siya yung uunahin mo. So, that is 9 divided by 3, that is equal to 3. And then, multiply mo si 16. 3 times 16, that is equal to 48. Number 3. So, in this item, we have two groups. 
group of parentheses at saka yung sa bracket. So, same natin isosolve. So, inside the parentheses, we have, of course, the exponent. So, yan ang unahin mong isimplify. Then, sa kabilang grupo naman, in the other group, we have also the exponent inside the parentheses. So, sa inside the parentheses, syempre, exponent muna ang unahin mo. Okay? Nakita na natin yung group. Syempre, sa group na yon sa loob, merong exponent. Now, what is 3 raised to 4? So, that is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That is equal to 81. And then, 2 raised to 3. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that is equal to 8. And then, rewrite lang natin yung hindi nagamit na operation. So, that is divided by 3 and then multiply. And then, yung sa harap, that is 20 plus. Enclose pa rin natin yan sa parenthesis kasi kabilang yan dyan sa grupo niya. And then, divide bracket parenthesis 54 divided by so, this one, 3 squared, that is 3 times 3. And that is equal to 9. Rewrite natin si plus 14. Enclose kay parenthesis and then divided by 5. Okay, now, simplify ulit natin yung mga nasa group. And that is parenthesis. So, dito, sa group na to, dalawa kasi yung group natin, we have two groups group of parentheses at saka yung bracket. Now, this one, sa given na to, ang mauuna, syempre yung divide bago yung multiply. ba Ang usapan, whichever comes first to multiplication and division, hindi pwedeng laging multiplication yung una. So, in this case, nauna si, si division, kaya divide muna. Okay? Same with addition and subtraction. Whichever comes first, pwedeng mauna si addition, pwedeng mauna si subtraction. Depende dun sa pagkaka-arrange. So, dito na-arrange ay division ang nauna. That's why we have to divide. 81 divided by 1, that is equal to 27. Okay? Next, rewrite natin lahat ng hindi nagamit dito sa parenthesis na to. Times 8 at saka 20. And then divide. Simplify natin. So, syempre, division and addition inside the parenthesis, 54 divided by 9. And that is equal to 6. Rewrite natin lahat ng hindi involved. That is, plus 14, saka yung divided by 5. Okay, now, 27 times 8. 27 times 8, that is equal to 216. Okay? Pinapalitan natin yung kulay para makita nyo kung ano yung inuuna natin isolve. And then, rewrite natin yung hindi nagamit, that is plus 20. Divided by, so this one, ang nasa loob ng parenthesis ay yung 6 plus 14. 6 plus 14, this 20. Then, remove na natin yung parenthesis dahil nagamit na natin yung nasa loob niya na operation. So, divided by 5 na tayo. Okay? Now, 20 divided by 5, that is equal to 4. So, perform na natin. Group pa rin naman yan. Nasa loob pa rin siya ng bracket. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4. And this one, 20 plus 216 that is equal to 236. So, 236 divided by 4, that is equal to 59. So, again, we have two groups. Simplify each group, left and right. And then, until ma-reach mo yung natitirang operation na division. And then, divide natin, that is 59. So, 
the simplest form of this expression is 59. So again, I hope you learned the order of operation, GEMDAS. G stands for group, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiply, D for divide, A addition, and S for subtraction. So again, multiplication and division, hindi laging multiplication ang nauna. Whichever comes first, depende sa order niya. Let's say, divide and times, divide ka muna from left to right. Okay? That's it. I hope you learned from this video. And if you learn, please subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa bagong video.